I think that's a point fairly made. <laughs> The voting system that we use in the UK today is called First Past the Post. Um, it basically means that the country is split up into 650 uh, geographic areas, which are called constituencies, and each one elects a single MP who just needs to get one more vote than his nearest or her nearest competitor to be elected as an MP. That sounds simple, but in reality, it massively warps British politics. If you're one of the losing candidates in a constituency, your votes essentially get put in the bin. Effectively, all of politics is focused on a tiny number of swing voters uh, in a tiny number of seats, constituencies, which are called marginal constituencies. And that leaves people feeling totally disenchanted uh, with democracy. It makes people feel like their votes don't matter. And it means that the government can be elected on a minority of the vote. I remain slightly unconvinced. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there's a tendency in Britain just to be focused on what we're doing. But actually, the vast majority of countries around the world use proportional electoral systems. Something like 80% of developed democracies use proportional systems where seats in parliament broadly match how people have voted. We also use them in the UK, in Scotland, Wales, and the London Assembly. And voters have shown over and over again that they understand these systems and they appreciate it when their elected representatives represent how people have voted. Countries with more proportional systems tend to have better satisfaction with democracy, even when uh, people's preferred party isn't in power. They tend to prefer the system when it's more proportional. Uh, and there's also evidence that turnout is higher. So more people come out and vote when they know that their vote makes a difference. I think for me, the turnout is probably the most important point. People feel that when they vote, they can't influence the outcome. Then I think more and more people logically will say, what's the point? And I think that's a point fairly made. <laughs> Politicians are absolutely scared silly of uh, swing voters in marginal seats. And swing voters in marginal seats tend to be older, tend to be richer, tend to be people who are like very engaged with the political process, but it leaves out millions and millions of people, particularly younger people, uh, people from ethnic minority backgrounds, poorer people who aren't necessarily the kind of key voter in marginal seats. And it means that they put forward candidates that they think can appeal to those voters, but it means that they're not putting forward young people or um, more women because they think it's kind of risky and it's really perverse that they think like that but it's the logic of first past the post that they're constantly worried about a proportional system where kind of a broader range of, of uh, voters that are being listened to you'd actually also get just a much more diverse political system uh, in terms of how people look but also how you think i certainly agree that diversity is hugely important if pr is something that delivers on that then certainly worth looking at. I do believe that a more proportional electoral system will actually deliver better policies. It's no real surprise that if elections are decided by a tiny minority of people in a minority of marginal seats, and then the MPs are generally older, generally white, generally men, you'll get a kind of policy making process that doesn't work for most people. There's some really interesting academic research about how countries with proportional voting systems tend to have lower income inequality. Uh, they tend to take faster action on the climate crisis. They tend to have a kind of more equitable distribution of goods. And I don't want to sound like I think proportional voting is a silver bullet. I don't think it would solve every issue overnight, but I do think it's like a really key part of the conversation because if our system is holding us back, then we're not going to be able to uh, deal with all these crises. We've seen around the world there's uh, a decline in democracy. Um, more and more countries are kind of turning to more autocratic systems. In Britain as well, we've seen a massive decline in trust in our politicians and also satisfaction with democracy. So this isn't just a kind of abstract conversation that we can say, let's deal with that 20 years down the line or we'll fix XYZ other problems before we change the voting system. I really believe it's something that we ought to be pushing for now. It's been really interesting talking to you. Um, I mean, I think at the end of it, I'm, I'm left with a hope 
that you do affect change. I think anything that you are doing that raises awareness among a greater diverse, diverse group of people about the importance of getting involved in some way has to be commended.